Anger and frustration after a mob of people in Compton left a bakery empty handed after a busy New Year's Day. The mob rammed a car through the door to get inside, and tonight neighbors took their concerns to City Hall. K News reporter Leslie Mining is live in Compton with the latest for us. Leslie. Yeah, Juan, Susie, good evening. And that's where we're at right now, City Hall, because residents came down today to speak to city leaders. They say they are frustrated, they are angry about these street takeovers and about what they saw. Watch as a white SUV backs up not once, but twice into Ruben's Bakery and Mexican Food in Compton around 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. Quickly, a group of dozens of people emerge. At one point, you see a woman try to stop the crowd and push them back. But the crowd takes over, making their way into the bakery. You see some people head straight for the cash registers, while others are grabbing food and drinks and whatever they can from the shelves. We spoke to one of the employees. Estaban, este... Juan Chavez says he drove over once he heard the alarms going off at Rubens. But this is what he walked into. Shattered glass, food, drinks, and merchandise everywhere. Rubens left with hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, following what the sheriff's department says started as a street takeover. So, so sick and tired of hearing this crap every single day. They've been out there running amok, tearing our streets up. On Tuesday night, following the looting at Rubens, Compton residents brought their frustrations to the city council meeting. Dang, and it's just like, when is this going to stop? Among the speakers, Cindy Enamorado, who lost her brother nearly a year ago when he was hit by a driver allegedly leaving a street takeover in unincorporated Compton. Setting cars on fire, crashing into innocent victims, and... I don't know. None of that is waking anyone up. The sheriff's department says they received three calls about the takeover Tuesday. Along with dangerous stunts and looting, they say the suspects also burned mattresses and Christmas trees, but no arrests were made. Residents say they're seeing street takeovers on a weekly basis. For the last three years, we spoke to the mayor who claims the city has been working on an ordinance for months. That we do hear them and that we are listening to them and that we do understand their concerns and that we are working diligently to address those concerns. But back at Rubens Tuesday night was spent boarding up a business that has sat on the corner of Santa Fe and El Segundo Boulevard for more than 40 years. And as you heard, no arrests were made. That has been a frustrating statement for residents. The Sheriff's Department tells us in situations like this, many times they have to come up with a tactical plan first before they then address these street takeovers. But they are hopeful that some of this video, the security video, as well as other video posted online, will lead them to this driver or to the driver seen in these videos. They say it's happened in the past. They will work with the CHP Street Racing Task Force in hopes of making arrests in the future. Reporting live from Compton, Leslie Medin, KCAL News.